Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Jay, and welcome back to our channel. So for today, we are going to discuss triangle congruence. What is this triangle congruence? Triangle congruence is the rules or methods used to prove if two triangles are congruent. So this is a symbol for congruency. Two triangles are said to be congruent if and only if one of them can be made to superpose on the other so as to cover it exactly. This time, we are going to illustrate triangle congruence. Two triangles are said to be congruent if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are congruent. If they have the same size and shape and when all corresponding sides and interior angles are congruent, then the two triangles are said to be congruent. Let us consider these two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. This time, we are going to find or look for the corresponding angles and corresponding sides. First is, we are going to look for the corresponding angles based from these two triangles. Angle A corresponds to angle D. So this angle corresponds to angle D. And angle B is correspond or corresponds to angle E. And angle C corresponds to angle F. So this angle corresponds to this angle. Next, corresponding sides naman po tayo. Segment AB or side AB corresponds to side DE. So this side corresponds to this side. Next, segment BC or this side corresponds to this side which is side EF. Next, side AC or segment AC is correspond or corresponds to segment DF. And now, those corresponding angles as, and corresponding sides, they are all congruent. Just like angle A corresponds to angle D, and they are congruent. Angle A is congruent to angle D. Same with angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle F. Same with corresponding sides, they are congruent. Segment AB is congruent to segment DE. Segment BC is congruent to segment EF. Segment AC is congruent to segment DF. So those are the corresponding angles and corresponding sides between these two triangles. And now, we have included angle and included side. These are parts of triangle in terms of their relative positions. Included angle is the angle between two sides of a triangle, while included side is the side common to two angles of a triangle. Let's have this figure or triangle JAY. So we are going to look for the included angles. J is included angle between side JA and JY. So this is the angle. Next, A is included angle, so this angle, between sides AJ and AY. Next, Y is included angle, so this angle, between sides YJ and YA. Next, we have to look for the included sides. 
AJ or side AJ is included side, this side, between A and J. Sorry, this is J. Next, JY is included side between J and Y. YA is included side, so this side, between Y and A. So those are the included angles and included sides based from this triangle JAY. And now we are going to complete the triangle congruence. Based from this triangle, triangle ABE and triangle DCE. So first one, congruent angles for one time. Angle A is congruent to what angle? Exactly, that is angle D. How about angle B? Angle B is congruent to what angle? Exactly, that is angle C. How about angle E? What angle congruent to angle E? That is angle E. Okay? Next, proceed tayo sa congruent sides. Segment AB is congruent to what segment? Very good. Side CD. How about side EC or segment EC is congruent to what side? Very good. That is segment EB. How about segment ED? What side is congruent to this segment? Very good. Segment AE. Since you know now how to to identify or uh, which are uh, the congruent angles and congruent sides based from this figure. Thanks for watching.